Hey guys, uh, we are in my kitchen. It is kind of messy, don't judge. I got stuff all over there and I got stuff on my island and I got my camera there, which means I just filmed a video for you guys. Um, I had a lot of requests after I started my Feel Good Friday series just a couple weeks ago to do a what I eat in a day video. And so that's what this video started out to be. It actually ended up being um, me sharing four healthy meal options, two breakfast ideas and two lunch ideas. These are things that I eat all the time. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I didn't really quite do a dinner option, but really you could do the lunch options for dinner. Um, and I can always do a video later, but as I was going through my pantry, I realized I didn't have a lot of the ingredients that I need because today's Sunday and I usually go, go grocery shopping on Sunday evenings or Monday mornings. So as I was getting ready to film this, I was like, oh shoot, I don't have the tortillas that I use. I don't have the enchilada sauce that I like. So, um, so for this video, it's two healthy breakfast ideas and two healthy salads, so two healthy lunch ideas. Um, but I can always follow up with other meals in the future. So let me know in the comment section below if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, these are just things that I eat all the time. They're really nothing special, you guys. I'm not a great cook at all. In fact, I'm probably a ter I think some people would call me a terrible cook. I can follow a recipe, but I'm not creative when it comes to putting stuff together. And um, so when you watch this video, you might think, oh, well, that's super simple or that's nothing special. But um, I, I think that it's, also, it's nice to see what other people eat when they're healthy ideas, because sometimes you just get in a rut and you don't think about uh, things that you could be eating or, or and, and for me it's all about simplicity and quickness like I don't have time to prepare a big you know elaborate meal I just don't have time for that so I need something quick and easy and healthy um, that's the only way that it'll fit into my lifestyle um, and I'll be able to continue to eat healthy as if it's quick and fast so these recipes are um, it does take a little bit of prepping ahead of time so I do talk about that in the video but I'm gonna quit rambling because um, I've been told that I talk too much on my channel. Can you believe that? Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is a protein shake I have most mornings. On the weekends, sometimes I'll cook eggs or toast or something, but for overall five, six days a week, I have this shake. Um, and basically all it is, is I just pour some almond milk in Magic Bullet cup about halfway. This almond milk, I use a variety of them. I usually look for the unsweetened ones. I try not to go over 50 calories per cup. This one is by um, Cala Farms. I guess it's, yeah, Cala Farms. Um, I get it from Whole Foods, but Blue Diamond has one that's like 40 calories or 35 calories for half for a cup, so that one's a good option too. Um, and then the protein powder that I really like, it, I like a few of them, and I'll link the others down below, but this is the only one that I had. Um, this is the only one that I currently have. I need to buy the other one, which is the bone broth pro protein powder, but this one's really good. This is, I talked about this in a video before. This actually has... Um, a sh two shots of espresso per serving. So, so this is a way to get your caffeine and your protein in one serving. It actually tastes pretty good. So I put one scoop of that. Then I put a whole banana. I try not to get like the really large bananas. I just like to get like a medium size or a small banana because the banana can add a lot of calories and sugar. You can also add a scoop of peanut butter if you want to add a little extra fat and calories to the shake. Um, having that fat in the shake is going to hold you over a little longer. So if you find that you take the shake and then you're hungry an hour or two hours later and it doesn't really get you through until lunchtime or until late morning, then you might want to add some healthy fats to it. I'm not going to add it today though. Um, and then I add just a couple cubes of ice and I put the lid on it. If you don't have one of these magic bullets, they are awesome. You blend the shake up in here and then you drink it straight from the container. So it's really, there's really not a lot of mess to clean up. Um, it's really quick and easy and then it just attaches to this base and then you blend it up. So I'm going to go do that real quick. And there you have it. So easy, so quick and it's really, really, really good. Okay, so the next breakfast option is something that I used to make all the time. It takes a little more time than the shake does, so I don't really make it as much anymore. But sometimes I'll make this on the weekends. Um, this would be a great option for your kids if you want a satisfying, healthy, fulfilling meal for your kids in the mornings. Yeah, so it basically it's just an oatmeal and egg white pancake is what it is. And I start with about a third a cup of oats. And these are just the old-fashioned rolled oats. These are not the instant oats. And then I do uh, two egg whites. Um, if you want to do more oats, then you just increase your egg white count, but basically you just want to add the egg whites to the oats. I don't do the yolk. Some people, you can do the yolk, and in that case, I would just blend it up in a blender. I just take a fork and mix this up, and you'll know too if you need to add a little bit more egg whites. Depending on the size of the eggs, these eggs are kind of small, so I might add another 
egg white to this? Yeah, I think I do because I want it to be a little more like batter. And two egg whites really isn't enough to coat these all these oats. So I'm gonna add one more yolk, one more egg white. Oops, it's okay if a little yolk gets in there. Yolk is good, healthy fat. So that's a little better. Then we're gonna go and cook this on the stove. So I'm gonna take you guys over there. Okay, then I like to put the heat on medium and spray the pan with a little olive oil. Let that heat up for just about a minute. Then you're going to just scoop that, all, that little batter that you made, that oat and egg white batter, into the pan. I think I had a little too many oats this time. It's going to be fine. It really, you can kind of create the texture and thickness that you like, but if you want it to be a little more liquidy, you can just use less oats or more egg whites. And then I just kind of press it to get the shape of about a pancake. I know it's not very pretty, you guys, but it's good and it's healthy and it's fulfilling. And that's the thing, you know, I, when I hear people that skip, skip breakfast, I feel like that's just setting yourself up to fail for the day. You really need to start your day with a healthy breakfast. Okay, one way you can make these extra tasty is by adding fruit while they're cooking. Bananas are delicious. So if you slice bananas and you kind of press them and lay them into the pancake, it's gonna really sweeten the pancake up. You can also add blueberries, which is what I like to do. And it's great because when these blueberries cook, they get really hot. And when you bite into the, the pancake, it's just like this really yummy, hot, sweet, tart little surprise. So I just go in and kind of place them. You can add as many as you want. One fruit that is not does not work out well cooking inside the pancake is strawberries. I tried that once and I don't recommend that. I do like to top it off with fresh strawberries before I eat it, but I don't like the strawberries to be hot in the pancake. And then you just kind of hang out, and I like to just kind of go with a spatula underneath it. You'll, you'll know when it's ready. I can tell that this needs a little bit more time to cook. So I'm going to let it cook for just about another 30 seconds. Okay, so it's been about another 30 seconds. Let's see. Okay, that's better. You can see when I put my spatula underneath it, it just slides right out. Then you're going to just flip it over and let it cook for about another 30 seconds on this side. I kind of like to press it too just so those blueberries, you can hear them cooking. You do want it to have like a golden brown kind of color. That's when you know that it's done. I mean, you can't really undercook this. You just want to make sure that the egg is cooked, which cooks really quickly. But I find that the t consistency and the texture that I really enjoy is best when it has like a little golden brown color into it. Okay. So I'm going to turn the heat off. And I'm going to plate it. We're going to add some strawberries and drizzle it with a little bit of pancake syrup. And then I just like to top it with a little bit of strawberries. I, whenever I buy strawberries at the store, I always wash them and cut them up right away and put them in a container. I find that when I just let them sit in my refrigerator, most of the time they end up growing mold and I don't use them. So that's one tip. Strawberries are one thing that I always kind of always have in the refrigerator and I always wash them and pre-cut them. Um, and then I would just drizzle this with a little bit of like a low calorie pancake syrup and that would be my breakfast. So you can see when you cut into it, you can see those, those blueberries and how yummy that is. It's so, so good. Again, bananas are really good too for your kids. If your kids like them a little sweeter, bananas are going to make it a little sweeter. Okay, so first I started with just chopping up two sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes is something that I always try and prep every week because I find that I can add it to salads. I can make like little bowls with it, adding the protein and cheese or salsa or something that's really good. So I like to cut up about two large sweet potatoes every Sunday, cut them up in little cubes, just salt them and I pop them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So now that I have the sweet potatoes in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and cook my chicken. I always buy organic chicken breasts. Um, I find that it's just best to just spend the extra money on good quality meats because I think if we knew how a lot of our meats are produced and raised, it would kind of scare us. Um, so I like to go as healthy and as premium quality meats as I can. So all I've done is they came in a package and these, these chicken breasts were actually really thick. I've sliced them in half because I don't want them to be too thick that they don't cook well enough. And then I've just salt and peppered them on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and cook these real quick. 
Okay, so first I have a huge large pan because I've got a lot of chicken to cook. I have the heat on medium high, and I'm going to, actually I'm going to put it on medium. And I'm going to um, heat it up with some olive oil. I want, and I kind of am pretty generous with the olive oil because I do have a lot of chicken to cook. But I'm going to let this heat up before I start cooking the chicken. So we're going to give this about a minute to heat up. While that's heating up, I want to tell you guys about another way that I prepare chicken that's super quick and super easy. I've already told you guys I'm not like a really great chef or cook or by any means. So the recipes that I share are very simple and easy um, and there's not a lot to them. But one thing I, you can also do is take a big chicken breast and put it in the crock pot with a little bit of olive oil and taco seasoning and just let that cook for four or five hours. And it just I mean, it just shreds apart. It's so delicious. And you can use that in tacos. You can use it in salads. You can make taco bowls with it. So I like to do that, too, as an easy way to have a healthy protein available and have lots of options to prepare it. Okay, so this is heating up pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and put my chicken on it. I let it cook on each side just a couple of minutes. I don't know, maybe four minutes or so. I might have put too much olive oil in here. Okay, so these have been cooking just a little over four minutes. I'm going to go ahead and flip them. I'm going to go ahead and take off the small pieces first because I know that those are done. Okay, so next I'm just going to cut this into little cubes and I'm going to go ahead and put it in a plastic container just to store it for the week. I'm going to use this chicken for lots of different meals. I'm going to make salads with it. I'll make chicken bowls with it. I could make enchiladas with it. But I like to have um, it all just prepped and ready to go because I don't have a lot of time to cook every day. So having this done ahead of time makes my life so much easier. It makes it so much easier for me to eat healthy meals. So while the sweet potatoes are cooling, I'm gonna show you guys another salad that I really like to make that utilizes the, the chicken that we prepared and spinach. I always have a big bag of spinach on hand. Um, it, it just works great to make salads or saute with dinner. For this salad, all you need is chicken. I like to add feta cheese. I have uh, strawberries, blackberries, and then I have grapes. These are cotton candy grapes. I don't know if you guys have these where you live, but they are so good. They actually taste like cotton candy. I bought them for my kids, and then I found that I love them too. And then a salad dressing. I like this one by, um, is it Tessame's? And I get it at Whole Foods. But this one is gluten-free, so low sodium, sugar-free, vegan, dairy-free. Um, I'm not gluten-free and I'm not a dairy-free person, but uh, it is Whole30 approved. So if you like to follow Whole30, then this would work. One thing you have to do is you have to shake it up though every time you use it because there's a lot of oil and it kind of separates here. Uh, but all you do is just, you know, put your spinach in. Then I'm gonna chop these strawberries up to be a little bit smaller. And then chop the grapes. I just like to cut them in half. Move this out of the way. I just like to cut the grapes in half. I'm gonna eat one. They're so good. I don't know how they get them to taste like cotton candy. Does anyone know? Tell me in the comment section below if you do. And I leave the blackberries as is. Uh, and then you're just gonna put a little bit of chicken. And I would usually make this salad bigger, but I just wanted to have a cute, pretty little bowl for you guys. Um, and then you just put your fruit. I always like to add a little bit of feta cheese to my salads. It's a really, to me, it's a yummy cheese and it doesn't have a lot of fat. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on top. And then I'm not gonna top this with dressing yet because I'm gonna put this in the fridge and eat it a little bit later. I just drank that protein shake, so I'm not ready to eat lunch, but this is gonna be my lunch. But then I would top it with about a tablespoon of this dressing. Um, this brand, Tessame's, they make a lot of other great, their Zesty Ranch is really good. They have a green goddess dressing that is amazing. So I haven't tried one of their dressings yet that I don't like. So if you, I know that I get this at Whole Foods. I don't know if the big chain grocery store that I go to sells it, but um, yeah, this is what I like. Usually what I find is that I like the salad dressings that are in the produce section, the ones that are refrigerated, not the ones that are in the grocery store aisle that are on the shelves. Um, so if you don't have this particular brand, look at the dressings that they do offer in the produce section because you'll probably find one pretty similar to it. But yeah, this salad is super delicious and so yummy and so healthy. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and this is what I'm gonna eat for lunch in a little bit. I'm gonna check on the sweet potatoes and if they're cooled, I'll show you how I assemble the other salad. Okay, so, so this salad I've been really enjoying the last couple of months. I wish I could take credit for it, but my sister-in-law gave me this salad idea. Um, and I, I eat it at least once a week, but usually I buy the ingredients and I eat it hmm, at least three, four times a week. Uh, but all you need are is spinach or kale. She actually gave me this recipe with kale and I was making it with kale for a while, but right now I just have spinach. And you're gonna add your chicken and you're gonna add sweet potatoes. 
And this can be eaten cold. So if you keep all these ingredients in the refrigerator and they're all cold, it's perfect. It's great for lunch. You don't have to heat anything up. And I like to add walnuts for a healthy fat. When she gave me the recipe, she used an avocado, which is really good too. I'm not going to cut this up though because I'm going to eat this later and I don't want the avocado um, to brown and get all gross looking. So, But you can. That's an option. You can add avocado to it and it's delicious. Uh, I'm going to add these walnuts. And then um, a little bit of feta cheese as well. I just toss it with the same dressing. Uh, when she originally gave me this idea, she was using kale, she was adding avocado, and she was using the Green Goddess dressing by Tessemes, but any dressing you like, find a dressing you like and use that one, but um, this is the one I have, so this is what I'll use later. So, so this is what the salad looks like complete. It has the chicken for your protein, the spinach for your fiber, your uh, sweet potatoes for your good healthy carb, and the walnuts for your fat. Uh, if you're not going to do a nut, then maybe do the avocado, but I do recommend having a healthy fat in your salad. It's just going to help keep your body running on all cylinders, and it's going to help keep you full and satisfied throughout the day. I hope you guys enjoyed these little quick meal ideas. So I gave you guys two breakfast and two lunch ideas. Um, like I said, I know it's not super complicated or super impressive recipes, but this, you guys wanted to know what I ate every day, and these are things that I go to. They're healthy, they're quick, they're easy.